Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Dumbledore's Army. Dumbledore's Army is a fictional student organization in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series that is founded by the main characters, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger, to stand up against the regime of Hogwarts High Inquisitor Dolores Umbridge, as well as to learn practical defense against the dark arts. It was founded in the fifth book, Harry Potter, and the Order of the Phoenix. History in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the new defense against the Dark Arts professor, Dolores Umbridge, chooses to teach only the basic theoretical principles of the subject in her classes instead of practical applications, due to Minister for Magic Cornelius Fudge's erroneous fear that Albus Dumbledore is preparing to assemble a student army to overthrow him. This theory only approach is widely unpopular among the students, especially those characters like Harry, who are in their fifth year and have to take their OWL exams on the subject later in the year. Harry also believes that lack of practical experience makes them more vulnerable to Lord Voldemort's forces, though the Ministry staunchly refuses to accept that Lord Voldemort has returned. This prompts Hermione to suggest founding a student group where Harry would teach practical defense against the dark arts. After Dolores Umbridge learns about the project, she bans all unapproved student organizations. So meetings are secretly held in the Room of Requirement and announced to members through the use of enchanted fake galleons created by Hermione. Cho Chang suggests the Defense Association, shortened to DA, is the official name for the group. But Guinea Weasley's suggestion of Dumbledore's army to mock the Ministry's paranoia and to show the group's loyalty to Dumbledore is chosen. CHO's friend Marietta Edge can betrays the group to Umbridge and to prevent Harry's expulsion and the incrimination of other members. Dumbledore claims responsibility for organizing the group, then escapes when Ministry officials attempt to arrest him. Though the DA stops meeting following these events, three members, Guinea, Neville, and Luna, join Harry, Ron, and Hermione in the battle in the Department of Mysteries towards the end of the fifth book. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Neville and Luna are distraught due to the fact that the DA no longer exists. When Hogwarts is invaded by Death Eaters, they are among the members who join the Order of the Phoenix in the ensuing battle. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, with Harry, Ron, and Hermione absent from Hogwarts, Neville, Guinea, and Luna begin a covert rebellion against new headmaster Severus Snape. By reactivating the DA, However, Luna is abducted and Guinea leaves school, leaving Neville as the DA's leader. Neville tells Harry that most of the DA's activity ceased shortly after Michael Corner was tortured by Death Eater siblings Electo and Amicus Caro for trying to rescue a first-year boy from imprisonment. The group thereafter hide from the Death Eaters in the Room of Requirement using a secret passage to the hog's head to find food. The DA believed that if Harry returned it'd lead them in a revolution against Snape and the Carrows, and are disappointed when he initially refuses to let them help. Harry does lead an impromptu revolt, but only himself, Luna and Professors McGonagall, Sprout, Flitwick and Slughorn take part in it, with Harry and Luna taking out the Carrows and the professors driving off Snape. In the book's climax, the DA plays an important role in the Battle of Hogwarts, giving Harry enough time to find the remaining Horcruxes. In the alternate timeline appearing in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in which Voldemort won the Battle of Hogwarts, killed Harry Potter, and instituted a terrible reign of terror at the fugitive Ron Weasley. 
and Hermione Granger maintain the last remnants of Dumbledore's army. Twenty years later, they still wage hopeless resistance against the all-powerful Voldemort, clandestinely helped by Severus Snape in this reality still alive and still teaching at Hogwarts. Eventually, these remnants of Dumbledore's army sacrifice themselves to cover the escape of Scorpius Malfoy and let him restore the timeline where Harry Potter won. Hannah Abbott Hannah Abbott is a Hufflepuff student in Harry's year, described as pink-faced, with blonde hair worn in pigtails. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, she is initially skeptical of housemate Ernie Macmillan's belief that Harry was the heir of Slytherin, and in Goblet of Fire, she sports a support Cedric Diggory badge during the Triwizard Tournament, because she and other Hufflepuffs initially believe Harry had stolen their housemate's glory. Although she remains on good terms with Harry, Ron, and Hermione. In Order of the Phoenix, Hannah is named a Hufflepuff prefect and joins Dumbledore's army, yet she also appears to be rather highly strung. She suffers a nervous breakdown, because she feels she is too stupid to take her upcoming OWL exams and has to be given a calming draft. She is among the 60A members who prevent Draco Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle from ambushing Harry aboard the Hogwarts Express at the end of the term. In Half-Blood Prince, Hannah leaves Hogwarts after her mother is murdered by Death Eaters, but she returns in the series finale, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. To take part in the Battle of Hogwarts, she, Fred Weasley, and Lee Jordan are seen standing guard together over a secret passage, while Harry later saves her and Seamus Finnegan from one of Voldemort's curses with a shield charm, allowing them to join the fight in the Great Hall. The adult Hannah becomes the landlady of the Leaky Cauldron, and has married Neville Longbottom. Charlotte Skeak played Hannah in the film adaptations of Chamber of Secrets and Goblet of Fire and voiced the character in the Order of the Phoenix video game. Louisa Warren voiced Hannah in part two of the Deathly Hallows games, and played her in the background of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one, and of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.